Abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You know, so so what comes out of our mouth, what's coming out of our mouth, is uh, is uh, to me, you know, that's the abundance of our heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if we're speaking life, then we have an abundance of life in our heart. That's what's coming out of our mouth. And if we're speaking death, you know, then there's an abundance of you know of death in our heart. I would say, I don't know, darkness, and. Uh, unrighteousness anyway the uh so you know it could be an, an indicator as to so if we're just like always blurting out horrible things and gossiping and slandering and uh you know cussing accusing and abusing and all these things you know and that's not good that you know i think that the uh the the opinions uh accusations presumptions assumptions the um all of the uh second guesses and the um you know, the uh, probably's and maybe's and no one you's and all that stuff. You know, I think it says more about the state of the heart of the person saying those things than it does about the target. It's, uh, it's those, are, those are things coming out of your mouth that say things about what's in your heart. And I think it should cause, like, it's, it's a way of self-reflecting. You know, our goal, my, my goal is, is, is uh, love, joy, peace, patience, uh, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. My, my goal is life abundantly and then so uh, so if that's what's coming out you know I'm gonna be like oh man oh I got impurity in my heart because that's what's coming out of my mouth right now and uh, and I want purity you know like like uh, it says that uh, so so what do we do right it's like I want a pure heart well the the Bible says that in uh, 1 John 1 9 you know that uh, if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness I want that out of my heart how do I get it out well that's sin I need to confess that confess it you know and then God cleanses you of all unrighteousness you know like uh, in, in Psalm 51 David uh, prays uh, you know create in me a, a pure heart Oh God, renew in me, uh, renew my spirit. Oh man, I don't remember it offhand. But anyway, he, create, he prays to God to create in him a clean heart. He, and and that's, his, that's him facing his sin. David facing his sin and he's, he's praying to God. He wants a pure heart. And he says, do not put me out of your presence. He wants to be close to God. Sin, that indicator, that indication because of that garbage coming out of our mouth is an indicator that, that there's something that's going to keep us from God. And so we need, that, that's the sin, you know, so confess it, get it out, you know. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. If there's something there, you know, that, get it out. Because what we want to speak is life. You know, and I get that there's like, you know, people that say horrible things to people, you know. They attack and all these things, you know, we're on the receiving end of that sometimes. And it's hard not to say it back and say hard, harsh things in return. Um, but the uh, but see the the but who are these people right these you know is that is that our enemy the enemies that persecute us and say horrible things to us is the you know you've heard it said eye for an eye tooth for tooth but but you know but pray for your enemies and uh, and bless those who persecute you uh, elsewhere in the Bible Corinthians somewhere I think it says that uh, you know not to uh, do not repay evil with evil but overcome evil with good there's no end to that cycle evil 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 oh well they said about me and i gotta say you know and they did this to me and i gotta you know like overcome it with good how can we do that uh by by <clears throat> through christ it is uh you know like if if they offended me it's, it's my that's myself that's offended you know like like it is no longer i who live but christ who lives through me so what you know what is, was Christ ever offended? Let's think of that. Christ was Christ offended. If He's living through me, how would He handle this situation of this person, this enemy of mine? You know, who's who's got obviously things coming out of their mouth that is an indicator to the state of their heart. 
I have found this salvation. I know, though, the state of the heart, you know, and, and I know the answer. I know because I was there. And, and so, uh, so Christ, he had enemies. You know, there were people that nailed him to a cross, spit on him, uh, you know, all this. And, and he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So he's, you know, anyone who would act in such a manner to be speaking death out of their mouth has, must, must be lost, must not know what they're doing. If someone is saying horrible things to you, if they're saying them horrible things to me, you know, in that moment I want to remember not to be offended and get upset, but to know, you know, because they call me a poo-poo head. Well, am I, am I a poo-poo head? I'm not a poo-poo head, you know? This person has that in their heart. They, they got poo-poo head in their heart. And, and it's not just speaking it, it's like, it's in, it's, they're living their whole life through it. That's, that's, that's sad, you know? I don't know. It's like, if I have the ability to speak life instead of death, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I have that ability through, through Christ, you know? Like, I, I, I know what it's like to be angry and, and be offended and, and want to retaliate. And, and but but are these things even true what's being said about me if they're true I need to take it to God if they're not true then I just let it bounce off you know I'm rubber you're glue whatever bounces off of me sticks to you and it's like the things coming out of their mouth is things about their heart I would say uh, and uh, and so yeah the kind of rubber glue thing kind of kind of makes a little bit of sense there anyway people say some horrible things out there sometime you know and uh, and that's you just gotta watch what you're saying. There's no reason to say horrible things to each other, and uh, and it's more of an indication of, of us when we say those things than it is of them. You know, like if that's what I, uh, you know, there's no reason to act like act like that. Anyway, so just uh, confess, pray for your enemies. You know, enemies and uh, love each other and things. I don't know. That's my trailer thought of the day. Uh, I hope you're having a good day. Is there another thing that I wanted to say? No, I think I got most of it. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.